Welcome back, travelers! We are back and we are ready to play some more modded Minecraft. As you guys know, I... Whoa, what is this? This is like oil or something like that? Or tar? I don't know. Something creepy. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But anyways, uh, you guys know I love to do my mod of Minecraft, and I'm always trying to do what I can to put together group activities, but the problem is with that, a lot of guys are just too busy and don't have the time to do it. Plain and simple, uh, to actually maintain and something. Ooh, what the heck is going on over here? We're going to venture over here while we're talking, because I just saw some really cool building off in the distance over there. So anyways, yeah, like I was trying to say, um, I, you know, I'm always trying to put these series together and it just never quite works out. So this time I'm doing a dedicated solo series. It's just going to be me. We're going to have fun. I was really, wow, there's a piece of broken cactus. Ooh, is this like one of those witchery freaking uh, villages in the middle of the desert? That'd be really cool. But anyways, yeah, I'm still trying to explain myself here. Um, I, I was, you know, really trying to find something fun to do. And I really loved an old series that we did a long time ago. It was almost three years ago uh, called Tragic Magic. It was a series that I actually uh, put together myself. I built the mod pack for everybody and spent a lot of time on it. And with that being said, I was watching some of the videos and I was loving, loving some of the old material. Now, granted, it was one of my older videos, and they were a little bit boring and dull, and, you know, I'm I, I, I'm consciously going to try to avoid being, you know, boring and dull. What is going on in here? This has got to be from another mod that I don't know anything about, because there are, like, train conductors here and stuff. I don't know, a whole bunch of villagers hanging out. A rolling machine, a hobbyist steam... What, what is going on here? I got some... Oh, I'm throwing on some engineer overalls here. Heck, yeah. How's it look? Oh, look at that. Look at that. All right. So anyways, so yeah, I'm going to venture around and check out some of this stuff, but I think this is actually going to be kind of a cool location to get started just because we have this big village here and what, what, what's up with all these item frames and stuff? What's, 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 what's all this about? Uh, diary of a tinker materials. You I already have a torn page, a torn page and observations of an immortal from witchery. All right, cool. All right, so what I think I'm going to do is I'm, you know, I was going to build a house, but maybe I'll build out of this village. Maybe that'd be kind of cool to build out of this village. Um, I'll need to light it up because I don't want to lose all these villagers or whatever. But yeah, I think that'd be a good idea. Um, yeah, because I mean, it's already a safe place to start building or maybe I'll just build right outside. There's, there's a lot of really cool biomes right in this immediate area from what it looks like. Because I've got like a, a roofed forest right there. We've got the desert right here, which is awesome because we'll have plenty of sand and stuff. And I think this might be a pretty good place to start. So what I might do, what I might do is I'm going to go ahead and start building myself up. Just a little house to start. Ooh, what is this? I'm like, I'm like, I want to get started, but there's all this cool new stuff that I've never seen before. Look at this. A modest hive. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to look into that and see what that's all about. But anyways, we are playing um, Feed the Beast Infinity Evolved, right? So going back to what I was talking about with the tragic magic, I love the magic aspect. I loved watching uh, what Mr. Saint was doing with Thomcraft, and I loved using blood magic, and I really wanted to get more into witchery, but it just kind of died out because I didn't have anybody else on, and so, you know, everything I was setting up was for multiplayer stuff, and there was only one player. It wasn't multiplayer. So, you know, it is what it is. But this one is going to be 100% dedicated to, you know, basically me having fun. And I'm actually going to go ahead. Ooh, sky of beginning. I don't know what that's all about, but whatever. Just collecting some stuff while I'm over here. So anyways, um, what, what I'm trying to say is I'm going to go ahead and uh, basically do world updates and world uploads uh for this series so if you guys come on you know come in and you guys want to kind of play along um you know i'm gonna you know do that so like in this first episode obviously i'm gonna put the seed in right and then that way you guys can kind of play along with me and you'll be able to see where some of the stuff is right at the very beginning and then from that point what i'll do is do world uploads maybe like every we'll say like every five episodes or something like that just so you know if you're you know you come in and you kind of want to get caught up with where we're at you'll be able to do so I don't think I'll world upload everyone. I'll probably, like I said, I'll probably do it, you know, every five episodes or so. So no big deal. But what I'm going to do now that I've collected a whole bunch of like seeds and stuff like that is I am going to go and take a little break here and go ahead and build my very first house, which I might just do right outside this village. Maybe I'll be the mayor. Maybe this will, I'll be the mayor of uh, Deserton. 
the mayor of Deserton, and we will call this little place Deserton. I'm going to go make a sign right now. I love it. We're going to go make a sign. We are going to call this little village Deserton because Ville is, you know, just Desertville doesn't sound quite right. But Deserton. I like Deserton. I think that's a pretty cool name. So we're going to go ahead and name our village here. And then from there, I'm going to go ahead and build myself my very first house and kind of get some things set up. And then we're going to take a look at some of the mods that we're going to want to mess with. Um, at least one or two uh, in each episode. That's my goal. It's just to kind of sample out. Carrot seeds. Interesting. Um, kind of sample out everything and see what's really, really going on. And I don't want to concentrate on any one mod in particular. At least not to not to start. So we will see. We'll see what's going to go happen here. Um, wait, I need to make my sticks. Come on. There we go. All right, so here we go, and we'll make our little signy sign, and we are going to name this the Town of Deserton. Oh, town of De yeah, Town of Deserton. Town. Oh, welcome, welcome to Deserton. There we go. So welcome to Deserton. We're our, we've got a train track that was like five blocks long and we've got a whole bunch of villagers, all right? And I'm gonna go ahead and start building right now and get myself a first little, you know, quickie home and then we'll be back. Okay, so we got our little housey house going on right here. It is so pathetic, it's not even funny, but you know, whatever. I really didn't want anything too special. I was just trying to get situated. I did start a little mine to get some uh, materials and you can see I've already got, you know, a whole bunch of junk backed up, right? We've got some stuff, but I wanted to start trying to get some of the books together. Uh, that way we'll be able to uh, kind of have all the research material that we need. I just saw a cow and I know I'm going to need some leather. I think I already have a little bit, but I want to make a couple of the books right now. So we will see. Ha ha. There you are. So we're going to try to make a couple of the books, and uh, the only one I know I can't make right now is the Thalmanomicon. I was looking that one up, and it turns out that that can only be found in, like, dungeon chests on here. It's the only way to come across it. But, um, you know, it's cool. We can get some of the other ones done. And I planted that. I don't know if there's any more around here or if I need to start, like, a little sugarcane farm to make some paper. But, you know, for the time being, we got some. And did you dropped an egg well thank you thank you very much for that egg mr mr chickadoo all right there's some more so basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna create some of the books and then create some of the starting items for a couple of these mods and we'll kind of see what direction we want to take once we get going on it i don't know which ones are really gonna pique my interest because i've played with some on other packs and then there's some i've never played with before so uh it, it'll just kind of be you know we'll we'll kind of wing it now, like with Thomcraft, I've started it, but I never got past it. And Thomcraft really interests me. Like Thomcraft is a pretty exciting mod that I really want to check out, but I just never really have. Um, I've really enjoyed Batania and what I've done with Batania, as well as uh, I really, really enjoyed Blood Magic. So there's a lot of them I really had fun with, and we're definitely going to get started with some of those. <clears throat> But there's other ones I do want to kind of touch on. And there's a lot of mods in this pack that I've never even heard of. Come on. I, I'm waiting for a cow. Ah, there they are. How did I not notice this? I was waiting for a cow to pop up on my radar. And I just didn't even notice these ones over here. Because I'm going to need the leather to make some of these books. But that's what we're going to do. is We're going to make a couple of the books. And we're going to make a couple of the starting items. Like the, the getting started items. Yeah. We're going to get going on those. And it, okay, this says there's cows here. Ah, there they are. And um, kind of just lay the groundwork for a lot of these uh, mods for the future. Sorry, I'm like, I'm thinking while looking at the, the map going like, where are these cows at? Like it says there's one right up here, but I'm not seeing it. I don't know if it's higher or what the deal. Ah, there you are. Climbing on tree. Cows don't climb on tree. Bessie. You know, you deserve to die for climbing on trees. Cows don't climb on trees. That is just not right. Those trees, I would think, would collapse in real life, don't you? I don't think there's trees that are necessarily strong enough to hold the weight of a cow. That just seems kind of insane to me. But it's okay. So we've got some six. Okay, so we've got enough to make a couple books. And uh, we're going to start with some of the, the, the first level books. 
uh, what I mean by first level books is like the books of like a lot of the mods that, you know, I know I'm going to be getting going on. I'm going to be doing a little bit of research once I get off camera and try to find out, uh, what other mods I really kind of want to test out and mess with. But for the time being, I know, you know, the, the basic few, like obviously, uh, like I just mentioned a couple of Britannian blood magic and all that. Let me cook some of this meat up real quick and let's put all this stuff away. Okay, so I've got a decent amount of iron. Okay, so the first one, as you can see, I'm on it right now. It's Lexica Batania, which is just one of the flowers and a book. Okay, so let us make the books first. I got eight leather and I've got 12 sugar cane. So we should have quite a few pages to work with to begin. And here we go. So let's go ahead and make these. There's four books to start with. All right, cool. So the lexicon is with one of these flowers. I don't want to use a shimmering. I just went and found a whole bunch of shimmering in a cave. And I know that they do pretty stuff. Uh, but I know I've got regular flowers too. So here we go. Let's just use this light gray one. All right. So it's this and this. Oh, come on. Come on, really? Really? I just... Is it a specific... Oh, it's a sapling. It's not one of those. It's a sapling. Well, good grief. Well, I've got plenty of those. All right, cool. So that we can do, and we'll get the Lexica Batania, right? All right, cool. And then there is, oh, you know what? I was cooking meat because my foodie food was really low. I had ran out of apples, and I needed some more food. There we go. All right, cool. And then um, under blood magic, oops. I'm just pressing all sorts of buttons here. Okay, under blood magic, there's a book. It's like a sanguine book. I'm not sure what sanguine has to do with like blood. I, I, I'm not exactly sure, but it's around here somewhere. It is. Where are you at? It was a it was a pork chop. I'm pretty sure it was a pork chop. Let me do that instead of just looking for it. I'm pretty sure it was a pork chop that I needed. Right, right, new. No. Is it shape crafting? What was it? Aha, there it is. It's just shape crafting. Okay. The Sanguin Scientium. Okay. So now we've got that bad boy. And then um, we've got that. We've got that. Thomcraft we can't do. Uh, well, you know, let's take a look at what some of these are. Okay. So we've got the architect. Uh, the blood altar. Okay. So we need four pieces of stone, a furnace, two gold, and a diamond. I've got that. Let me get some of this gold smelted up real quick. Um, I know I've got a little bit of it. I've got plenty of iron and I'm not going to make another one roll right now, but I'm going to need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Might as well just make eight since we're at it. And then I'm going to need eight also for the furnace. Like so. There we go. And then it was gold. Oh, and a diamond. I'm going to need a diamond. And then, actually, I do remember it was uh, one iron, one gold, and some glass. Um, and I don't have enough glass. I think it's five glass, so one, two. Okay, cool. So we've got enough gold. So we'll go ahead and do that. Then we'll do this up. <coughs> uh, what I'm trying to do is make this orb because this is how we start putting blood into the altar. And so I need to make the sacrificial orb. I, it used to be like a dagger or something like that, but now all there is is this creative dagger and then the orb. So I, I don't know if the orb took over um, or replaced it. Like I said, I haven't played this mod uh, with this mod in a very long time. So a lot of this is gonna be totally new to me. And uh, you know, I see some of these new sigils that I haven't seen before. Uh, I was kind of looking through them earlier. Some of them seem very, very similar and some of them look a little bit different. So like the sigil sight when seen is not enough. I don't know, but there we go. Okay, so we've got that. All right, so let's make this bad boy up. So it was like you and you, right? And then it was a furnace there, a diamond there, and two pieces of gold. Cool. All right, so we've got our blood altar to start. Awesome, awesome. And then now I don't need any more you, but I need uh, glass, right? Let me grab those other three pieces of glass I saw because then I only need two. And we can get that started. And then I don't know what to really start with on Let's Go Batania. Like, I don't know what the first thing you really do is in the lexicon. Um, here we go. Um, basic mechanics and stuff like that. Maybe I'll, I'll look into some of this stuff 
uh, off camera and then I'll kind of have a, a setup of what I want to do. Today was literally just kind of getting started with some stuff and I think we are succeeding in that at the moment. So it's like that, right? Yeah. We got our sacrificial orb. All right. Your first prick. That's awesome. Okay. So for right now, since I don't need to go put this anywhere special, we're just going to put it inside because it's nighttime and I don't want to get messed with. And then if I do this, no, if I do this, there we go. It adds life essence. And, oh, maybe I can make the sigil, the very, very basic sigil, the divination sigil. This one's recipe is a blank slate. Uh, oh, with the first level orb. And I think that's going to be my other diamond. I'm going to have to, ooh, that was a new one. I haven't seen that black one right there. What was that? What was that black one? Weak blood orb. That's what I'm talking about. In Eldritch blood orb. Interesting. That might, I wonder if that's like a uh, from one of the other mod packs. All right. So a weak blood orb is a diamond in here with how much? 2,000 life essence. Okay. Okay. So I don't know how much this has and I don't know how much blood I'm donating when I'm doing this. But I have a feeling that was a, a decent amount, right? That was a decent amount. So let me go ahead and drop this diamond in here and let's see if it was enough. Oh, you know what? My particles are turned off. Let me turn my particles back on. There we go. Yeah, just to make sure it's working and stuff. All right. And let's see if I can get my first orb. The blood scene. I mean, it's really, really slow. And now I remember all the stuff I had to do to make this thing fast. So I'm hoping, 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 hoping that it's not going to be too slow, but we can get our blood back. Oh man, I'm so excited about getting back into blood magic. It's been like almost, almost three years, two years, almost three years. And I really loved it when I uh, got into it last time. So I'm really excited. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. There we go. Come on. Keep going. Keep going. Don't stop. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep doing what you're doing. I, I think it's like 100 or 200 per prick. So if I did 10 pricks, which would be 10 hearts, which I've done more than. There we go. All right, cool, cool. So we've got this uh, weak blood orb now. And if I do a little clicky, click, it selects it to myself. Cool. Then I need to get a piece of stone, which I happen to have on me. And this should make a, uh, uh, what do you want to call it? A blank slate. And then I should be able to make that divination sigil. And that will basically get us started in the right direction. Woo. Oh, my God. I am so excited about this. Literally. Oh, whoa. Oh, hey, come on. Yeah, come on. You don't take that much, do you? Man, I'm not regenerating very fast. Um, do I have any? I don't have any apples left. I was like, maybe I'll just make myself a golden apple and get myself some regen. But that's not happening. Come on. I don't know if it's cumulative or if it just completely wipes out once it drains out like that. Come on. Come on. Give me half heart. Give me half heart. Give me half heart. I'm like, I'm like literally on the, on, on the border here. Oh, look at that. Feed the beast weekly. Cool. All right. Come on. 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 We can do this. I just need one of these blank slates. Just one. All right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to let my uh, health get all the way back full, and I'm going to fill this whole reservoir up, and then uh, we will, we'll see. How, okay, yeah, let's let's double check on that. Let's see how much blood it takes. Uh, divination Sigil. Divination Sigil is with a blank slate, and that takes a thousand life essence. Yeah, so it's like five pricks, I think. That's all it is. I can, I, we don't have to really wait all that long for that. I'm almost there right now. Okay, if I cleared all my hearts out right now, that would be a thousand. I'm pretty sure it's 200 per hit. It might might only be a hundred. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. I that should be enough. That should be enough. Six. Okay, so if anything, that's 1,200 or that's 600. Aha, there we go. Okay, cool. Now we can make the divination sigil. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Oh, I need more glass, and that's not a problem. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. Except it was more than six. It was like seven, wasn't it? Yes, it was seven. Let me grab another piece of sand there. All right, and then we'll get this. Ha! Ha ha ha! 
I hate like the start, man. I, the start is so like antsy for me because there's so much I want to do, but it's like, you know, we don't have anything yet. Right. And I really want to get going on blood magic because I remember blood magic had some awesome tools. Um, I remember the pick specifically did like an 11 by 11 by 11 area or 12 by 12 or something like that. <clears throat> Just an absolutely insane amount of area that it could mine out. And once I get that thing, oh, it'll be awesome. But it's like a binding ritual that I have to do. And that's that's a little ways down the road, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it's going to take a while. But at least we can get started. And once we get this little divination sigil here. You know what? While I'm just standing here, I hate how crafting tables drop all your items. But I remember that Tinker's Construct's in here. So let me make a Tinker's Table real quick. Yeah, there we go. All right, so now we've got a Tinker's Table. And... I don't know why I made the half one since I'm still going to put it on top, but whatever, whatever. There we go. So I can just hold, there we go. There we go. Okay, cool. And now I can test out exactly how much. Okay. My life essence, I have 200 and the altar has 199. Okay. So one click. Yeah, it does give me 200. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. I think, I think this is actually a pretty productive place to stop. Um, you know, there's, there's a lot of mobs out here and they've been harassing me a lot. And I think with the nighttime, you know, coming and stuff like that, I think it's probably a good time to go ahead and chill out on that. But, oh, you know what? Let, let us start. Uh, we can do witchery. We can do the witchery book. I, I want to get a couple of these books started. So if we can get those done now, I can prep stuff in between episodes. If I, you know, know what I need to prep. So I'm thinking collecting fumes is going to be the first one I need. I'm pretty darn sure of that. So we're going to need a belladonna flower, an ink sack, a feather, and some charcoal. Okay. Um, have I found any belladonna yet? I have no belladonna. All right. So we go break some bushes, and I know that I've seen Squiddy out here. Yeah. So we can get the ink sack. Charcoal's easy peasy. So let's go ahead and get the fumes book going because I don't remember any of the stuff that I need for uh, uh, witchery at all. Like, I don't remember any of it. I remember Belladonna and I remember the Mandrake stuff because, well, who doesn't remember Mandrakes? I mean, I guess if you're not a Harry Potter fan, but, you know, whatever. Whatever. Um, it's, <clears throat> I know that they put in a couple things that were definitely inspired uh, Belladonna, ha ha ha, Belladonna seeds, sweet, okay, let me double click that again, and then let me grab some bones so we can grow that stuff up real quick like, hopefully bone meal works on the witchery stuff, all right, and oh, I'm going to need to make myself a hoe, all right, so, all right, Belladonna seeds, let's get going, Right? Does it give me a percentage on these? These ones does not give me a percentage on, so I'm wondering if the bone meal is going to work on them or not. Oh, it does. Cool. Ha ha ha. Sweet. We've got our Belladonna. Cool. So we can do our witchery book now, which is awesome. 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 And that's what I'll probably do is start a couple farms up with all the, the necessities while, um, you know, once we're done recording today. Um, let's see if I remember what it was. Oh, I need a piece of charcoal. Charcoal? Did I save charcoal? Or did I use all my charcoal? I wonder if coal substitutes. Let's try a piece of coal. So coal, ink sack, belladonna, the book, and what was the other thing I needed? Um, fume book. Here you are. Ah, shoot. I always do that. I always forget. Um... Charcoal, black, it has to be charcoal. Oh, a feather. I need to go kill a chicken. I haven't killed any chickens yet. All right, and then, then I get a piece of wood, I guess, and make some charcoal up. All right, so first things first, we need you so I can make a piece of charcoal, please. Of course, my inventory is totally full. I don't need any snowbell seeds for right now. And, aha, chicken. Come here, Mr. Chicken. Hiya! Yes, I see feathers. All right, perfect. We got exactly what we need. Now I can go make this and we will have it in. Yay! Maybe I'll even make the oven. Maybe I will make the oven and that'll be something else I can get going in the meantime. 
So let's make up our piece of charcoal here and then ink that charcoal book and belladonna flower. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Bingo, bango. Got you. Do that and that. And there we go. We've got our witchery book. And then the fume. Um, yeah, foul fumes and a thing. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. So this is just collecting the fumes. And that means I need to make the witch's oven. And the witch's oven is this guy right here. Yep. Hey, hey, hey. Don't do that to me. And that one is five iron and two iron bars. I can definitely handle that. Let us dump off a lot of this stuff that we don't need right now. Pretty much everything in my inventory. And squid. Ooh. More edibles, apparently. I guess. Okay. All right. So iron. I'm going to need... Well, let's just grab the whole stack real quick. So I need to make some iron bars. There we go. And it was two of you. Is it two, not three? And like that. All right. We've got the witch's oven. We'll put that right there. And oh, perfect, perfect, perfect. And then I need to get some clay, which I'll do. And I'll do a lot of this stuff off camera um, and prep for tomorrow's episode. Yes. I'm going to go for daily. Uh, I don't, I can't promise anything, but I am going to go for daily. If not, at, at least every two days, I'm going to try to put up some new episodes. But guys, um, and look in the description. I'll go ahead and put the seed for this map so you know you can have the ability to start right where I started and we can kind of do this together. And if you come across stuff that you like and you think I should know about, then you can tell me all about it. And like I said, about every five episodes, what I'll do is a world upload. So that way, if you're new and, you know, or I guess I'm not talking to the right people at this point because you're watching the first episode. But if new people come along and they want to get caught up or if you've missed out for a while and you want to kind of get caught up with where I'm at, then I can go ahead and do that. But uh, until next time, guys, y'all know the deal. I'm Slider Havoc, and this is, what are we doing today? Uh, Infinity Evolved? Yeah, Feed the Beast, Infinity Evolved. So until next time, guys, I hope y'all enjoy it, and we're out of here. Peace.